Welcome to Recovery Radio, where we have hope for you today. When I was lost, so searching, you were the ground beneath my feet. When I was a blind man, baby, you were the eye so I could see. Well, good morning. Welcome to Recovery Radio, uh, Saturday morning. Uh, we're uh, we're gl- glad to be with you this morning, our listeners out there. Uh, we're so thankful for you, first of all. Uh, we're just, um, we've got an amazing show today. We've got a wonderful friend, uh, Val, in the, in, uh, in the studio this morning. So uh, she's got a testimony for you. So uh, it's just going to be wonderful. We're, uh, we're geared up this morning. We're fired up. We're so excited. A lot going on. Uh, we know that um, uh, Miss Debbie this morning and, and Farron are out uh, at Joshua Tree, mm-hmm. and they're uh, giving backpacks away, and there's a raffle, and uh, it's just going to be an amazing day for families and for kids. Uh, their location is at uh, 5475 Sunburst Street in Joshua Tree, and that is uh, Lighthouse Christian Center. So uh, get on out there. I'm sure there's lots of activities and things for the for the kids to do, and they're broadcasting live right right after our show. So uh, I want to introduce my co-host Robert this morning. Good morning, Robert. Hey, good morning. Good morning. How, how you doing this morning? Ah, man, I'm I'm always happy when yeah, I'm here. Amen. <laughs> amen. We <laughs> call this awesome place to we be. We call this the fastest hour in radio. Yeah, we we amazing. know it happens, but we won't say nothing. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Hey, o- open us up in prayer, will you? Yes, sir. Uh, wherever you're at, wherever you listen, just buy your, your your heart with me. Uh, Father, we come to you boldly in the name of Jesus Christ, Father. We just want to give you thanks, give you honor and glory just for who you are, Lord. Uh, we want to thank you, Lord, for uh, this day, Lord. I thank you for uh, everything that you do, everything that you allow to come our way, and, and thank you for the things that you don't allow to come our way, Lord. Lord, I just want to lift up everybody, Lord, in, in your body, Lord. Lift up uh, the messages that you have in our hearts, Lord, to the, to deliver um, to the people that, that may be lost, Father God, and to the ones who are lost, Lord. And, Lord, I pray for the ones who have finally been uh, looking for the answers, Lord. May today, Lord, they go ask somebody, what must I do to be saved, Lord? So, Lord, just I ask that through the testimony today, Lord, let somebody be changed, Lord. We thank you and we praise you in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. You know, this is a a listener-supported radio program. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is your show. This is your radio show. And we're glad to be uh, part of it and be able to bring you uh, information and inspiration, uh, hopefully, that will uh, help you through your struggles. But I want to give you the number. It's 1-800-721-9313 in the local number, 928-855-9110. It's a live call-in show, which means that you can call in for prayer requests. You can give us praise reports. There's lots of different ways. Robert will tell you how to uh, be connected to this radio program uh, throughout that. But first of all, maybe... um, Robert, can you tell us about our sponsors? Oh, we, yes. We appreciate them. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, we, we appreciate all you guys, and we thank God for you, definitely. First, we have Ohana Poke Bowl, uh, located at 3269 Maricopa Avenue here in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Uh, we also have Ace Pest Control. Uh, you can contact them at 928-680-0988, or you can contact them on the web at acepestcontrolaz.com. Uh, finally, we have Sunshine RV, uh, located at 2995 Maricopa Avenue here in Lake Havasu City. Uh, and you can contact them at 928-855-6648. Amen. Uh, we thank our sponsors. Uh, we also have... Uh, uh, giveaway. So if you're a caller, you call in, you automatically go into uh, the raffle to yes. be given a T-shirt or a hat, Recovery Radio T-shirt or, or a hat. And we're, we're thankful for Hilltop Church for supplying those needs. We're, we're very grateful. Hey, let me explain a little bit about what the show is. Um, we're here for you because it's all about it's all about you and um, your struggles and your challenges in life. And we know there's many. And we know that being out in amongst the world, it's uh, it's very challenging. There's uh, there's a lot of darkness, 
and uh, there's there's many crises going on from suicide to the opioid to mm -hmm. on and on and families being torn apart and and uh, we'll try and we'll try and bring you a, a testimony a live testimony each week of of many different topics yes. uh, including health and and many others um, uh, last week we had uh, div divorce care for, um, and and we hope that um, that helped you and we got some information for you to uh, work through those challenges uh, as you struggle with relationships and in that situation because we know there are many so uh, we're here to uh, we're here to help you we're here to give you that information we're here to hopefully inspire you uh, we know that uh, there's a, a prison ministry listening to us this morning Amen. good morning Aaron shout out to them you know, so there's there's a lot there's a lot of things that people struggle with, and that's where the devil exactly wants to keep them mm -hmm. in a corner, quiet, thinking that you can just fix yourself and you don't need those people. I want to tell you that's the biggest lie. That's right. It's a complete lie, and it it takes people's lives because they just can't handle it. And I was I was one that was right on the edge, and and God intervened and put somebody in my life after Amen. after 34 years of trying to repair and fix and four rehabs and on and on, and and uh, I was completely lost, yeah. and I was so ready to give up and and check out. And I'm so thankful today, 13 years later, that I get to uh, spread the message. Amen. Uh, so. Because he was right on time. Ooh, man. He knows what he's doing. He was right on time. I was ready, and he said, okay, <laughs> here we go. Enjoy the journey. And it's been, let me tell you, it's been absolutely amazing. Amen. And, you know, so that's what it's all about. That's why we're here for you today to hopefully give you that information. And, and we have lots of different ways to uh, to connect to us electronically. Uh, we've heard from m some many countries, few countries now. Yeah. So we're we're all over the world. And uh, and hopefully we make an impact, and hopefully we can Amen. we can help you today. Yes. That's what we're all about. That's right. Uh, yeah, just a quick reminder: we're we're here to support one another. Um, we can't fix anyone. We can't fix ourselves. We can't fix the next person, but uh, we we can help each other. We can walk alongside the next person, you know, and help guide somebody and show you. Hey, look, I found my help in Jesus Christ. Come with me. I'll show you. I show you. He's the one. Um, so Christ does have all that power. He's the one that can change our lives. Now, the Bible states that we are to share each other's burdens in Galatians 6, 2. We're to come together, encourage one another in Hebrews 10, 25. Uh, build each other up, 1 Thessalonians uh, 5, 11, and to lift one another up in prayer. Amen. Yes. Amen. Robert, you have a scripture for us this morning? Yeah, really good one. I, I, I really enjoyed this. This is uh, Luke chapter 8, verse 17. It says, For all that is secret will eventually be brought to the open, and everything that is concealed will be brought to the light and be made known to all. Amen. See, it, it, you know, even our even our darkest secrets. Now, yeah. Yeah, Moses, uh, who, who was, was a murderer, uh, murdered the Egyptian, ran and was in the mountains for 40 years. <laughs> so we think sometimes, well, okay, whew, I got got away with that. I put that in the past and no, nobody will know and I'm okay and <laughs> I'll get on with my life. And then God said yeah. 40 years later, uh, no, you're going back. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. you know. But we, Lord. Well, yeah, wait a minute. Well, you want me to do what? Go where? I can't go there. Oh, yeah. Man. So, you know, he has a mission for you and a purpose for you. I want you That's to know right. that. You know, just... Uh, just remember that uh, your stuff isn't unique out there. I know there's uh, many broken people in there listening today, and they just don't they they don't have that hope. Yeah. Well, we hope that we can give you some hope today because it's it's so important. Yeah. Hopefully, we, we let's try to remember that God only used one perfect person in the Bible, and that was Jesus. Everybody else was somebody that was broken that needed CR <laughs> or whatever. You know, that needed some kind of help. You know, God used imperfect people to show how perfect his love is. So you don't have to be perfect. Uh, you do not. And, and I'm, so, I'm so thankful. That's right. Yeah, I'm so <laughs> thankful. And through my brokenness and through all of my uh, failures yes, and trying to fix myself and never being able to, uh, when I finally surrendered and turned it over to, uh, to Christ, uh, he empowered he <laughs> gave right. me the power he gave me the direction and my whole life changed so Amen. if you're listening and you're going through that 
just surrender. I say just wave the white flag. And yeah. Remember in, in Cowboys and Indians <laughs> or in war, you wave the right flag. Up. Okay, you lose. I All right. You're, you're, you're a loser. Well, yeah. You're actually a winner That's so right. when you you know surrender because God says, okay, I got you. Here yeah. we go. <laughs> and, uh, and he puts you on a place of, yeah. of balance and gives you love and, and support. And I know there's a lot of listeners who have deep, deep wounds yeah. and, and have been out there and, and uh, so many women uh, from abuse and on and on and, mm-hmm. and, and men, uh, physical, uh, physical abuses, young children and going through divorces in a family that's so dysfunctional and so much pain and, yeah. and parents that have lost a little baby or a young one through, through either cancer or a struggle yeah. uh, and it was taken away from them. Listen, God is the answer. That's right. I mean, we're all in the studio. We are so we are so broken, yeah. and He's put some pieces together. and And today, I feel a wholeness and a purpose. Amen. And and He's got us on a path. So, uh, I hope you just trust that today. And uh, again, this is a, this is a live call in show. So uh, the number one eight hundred seven two one nine three one three and our local number is 928-855-9110 because you're going to hear a testimony this morning yes sir. by an amazing woman good morning miss <laughs> val good morning thanks uh, for having me yeah yeah we're, we're glad to have you this yes. morning um so val uh tell us a little bit tell the listeners tell us a little bit about uh your your story your beginning okay well first of all i'm just really grateful to have the opportunity to share um so i just wanted to share an extraordinary experience where i felt god come and rescue me from a really dark place um so i'll kind of describe it to you i felt as if i was floating above and around my body in a sharp instant i heard a loud terrified voice painfully pierced my consciousness and said run I began to drive, tears stinging my swollen eyes. Every tensing muscle became hyper aware of the encroaching danger surrounding and threatening to swallow me whole. I pushed harder on the gas pedal as if I could escape what was happening. As if on autopilot and following someone else's plan, I turned off the location device on my cell phone. I just wanted to disappear. Chilled to the bone, heart racing erratically, my escape had no destination and I felt a sickening, dark pull on my body as I stopped the car. As immediately as this terrifying experience began, it ended. In that sharp clarity and silence, I was rescued by a gentle yet unyielding voice, unyielding voice which said, surrender. Mm. Amen. That's, um, uh, that's a pretty powerful spot. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. Are you there today? Are you driving that car? Are you in that room? Are, are you getting hi are you getting lost Mm -hmm. just completely within the world and disconnecting Uh, you can just simply reach out and ask and here's the challenge Uh, you know uh, there are many who don't believe don't believe in god but in in scripture it says challenge me and 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 i will be there Amen. So if you're struggling with that, the, the evidence is there that if you reach out and ask for help, he is going to be there. That's right. And, and he'll show himself uh, through through people uh, and, and uplift you and bring you to a place, uh, as Val just described, uh, a, a place of uh, being completely lost mm-hmm. and, and then found. Yeah. And in a ray of sunshine. Amen. So if you're there today... Uh, just listen to this testimony. Yeah, so at that moment, I knew that God had put a covering, you know, over my life um, before I was even born. He did. Um, I finally let go of the reins um, that had always rightly belonged to Jesus in the first place. Um, I experienced the physical, emotional, and spiritual turning over of my will to God's, which was an incredible place to be. After so many years of darkness and secrecy, I was holding on to so many things. Um, and all the while, God was there, and he wanted to release me of that. And I finally, it was, it was my willingness to allow him to do that, that I finally stepped into that. Amen. So, um, so I came to this mortifying moment that I described earlier through many life experiences um, that a lot of people can unfortunately relate to. Um, I've survived sexual, physical, and emotional abuse, um, a violent sexual assault. Um, those things only enhanced my 
negative coping mechanisms, including perfectionism, OCD, disordered eating, addiction, and suppression. And those all furthered my feelings of shame, depression, anxiety, and worthlessness. But, you know, Jesus had a different story in mind for me. He, he knew um, how to break through all of that darkness to bring in his light. That's right. Yeah. Um, so I was raised in a, in a strict religion where my understanding of God was relegated to like an untouchable figurehead, which judged my actions into right and wrong categories. Um, and then at the end, when I came to the end of my life, I felt like they were going to be tallied up. And even then, I still wouldn't gain admittance into heaven because I had so much shame and so much guilt just piled on because I never was open and honest about my true self. So, mm. um, aren't so many people like that? I mean, I'm, I'm sure it resonates with the <clears throat> listeners. That, and I thought the same thing. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm so unworthy in all of my past and mm -hmm. all the things they did. Nobody's going to accept me. God's going to condemn me. Yeah. And, and we, we actually put all of that burden on ourselves. Yeah. And it's just the opposite. When, when we do surrender, as you said, Val, through all of that insanity and all of the struggle that you go through, it's so freeing. It's like taking a backpack off that you've collected rocks yeah. for years and years, <laughs> and now it weighs about 96 pounds, and you're walking around with it, and, and you're trying to protect it and thinking that people don't notice yeah. and, and hide from it. And but you carry it wherever you go and you think, well, God's just not going to he's just look at all the rocks that I look at all the stuff in the garbage that I've carried over mm -hmm. all of those years. He's he's not going to love me. And it's just the opposite. It's yeah. just the opposite. He takes the backpack off and says, give me that. That's right. <laughs> give me that stuff. And then uh, he just lifts us up and gives us that peace yeah. and that calmness. And so. Uh, Again, I want I want to challenge the listeners yeah. uh, to uh, to trust that process because it's worked for every one of us, yeah. and we know that it's worked for millions mm -hmm. of people, yeah. millions. So we're so uh, we're so thankful for that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like she said, she uh, we, a lot of us were brought up thinking that God was like this untouchable figurehead yes. that you had that you, you brought out, but once we. Uh, we receive Christ, you know, the scripture said there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Yeah, we're not worthy, but to him, we were still worth him sending his son to die for. Yes. So, yeah, there won't be condemnation no matter what you've been through or what you're doing. It's, it's all about Christ's love for us. Amen. And we're going to give you a victory. Uh, Robin from Ehrenberg uh, is sober five days. Yay. So she just called in and Amen. she's uh, so so thankful yay robin hey nice job. listen that is an amazing start yes. and it's only the beginning of of such a wonderful journey so uh congratulations robert uh, uh robin getting out of the boat amen amen yeah i got robert in the studio so uh i don't want to call him robin no <laughs> great job robin we're we're proud of you amen. and again that's what that's what it's all about yes that, that's why we're here so that Step we can, uh, that's right, a day at a time, moment at a time, sometimes just those few moments. Yeah, we'd be this happy if it was just five seconds. Yeah. Yes. Right. Just, just take exactly. that step. Yeah. yeah. Take that first step. Yeah. That's it. Again, 1-800-721-9313, 928 Okay, Val. So, um, referring to how I was raised regarding my understanding of God, that skewed understanding of God um, kept me at a distance from him. And now I realize how insidious and clever a lie that was mm -hmm. um, because that created a space where I was able to suppress and hide and um, I was afraid. You know, fear was a big motivating factor in a lot of mm. what I came to do to deal with a lot of the issues that I've been dealing with mm, yeah. um, since I was a child. So over 17 years ago, I had my first personal encounter with Jesus and asked him to take residence in my heart and take over my life. Um, soon after this, I married a man who understood me, accepted me, and frankly made me laugh harder than anybody. So um, he was the first person to hear all of my most protected secrets and because of that he did encourage me to get counseling um, he gave me godly counsel but I decided to go a, no, a more destructive route I started to rely 
on God less and less. And then um, in the midst of this, we were blessed with two incredible children. Um, and then after, uh, we lived in San Diego in the beginning of our marriage and we moved back to Arizona where I'm originally from. Um, my husband became a worship leader at a local church. I finished my college education and um, started a career in healthcare. All the while, during all of these blessings that God was pouring into my life, I wasn't recognizing it as such because I was still trying to numb and deal with um, the fear and the pain that I had had um, kept buried inside my heart through addictions and eating disorder and some other things that I had kept hidden from everybody in my life. Yeah, tell, tell us a little bit. Uh, you, you said OCD and... and uh uh, eating disorder. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think there's uh, a, a lot of people that would like to hear a little bit about that, how how you struggled with that and, and what you went through. Absolutely. So the, the core of that had to do with control. Mm -hmm. um, I was trying to control my circumstances um, to, the, to the way I looked to the outside world. It wasn't about my physical appearance. It was about I can control what I put in and out of my body. I mm -hmm. can control my immediate outside surroundings um, in order to control that chaos inside that I, I just I needed to release it to God and at the time the only way I knew how to deal with it was through those two destructive forces mm -hmm. yeah. so and we learn to rely on that that yeah. becomes our go-to right it becomes a habit yeah. and it becomes a habit mm -hmm. yeah and and that's our but that's what we think is our safety net yeah and it's it's it, it it's absolutely not it, it's our destructive behavior yes. right. that that we program in our body in our mind and and it actually is is killing us. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. amen. Yeah, it's the and, truth. and keeping us further and further from God. Absolutely, That's right. Yeah. yeah. So um, after my full unadulterated surrender to God, after I, you know, I described earlier kind of how I came to that, I en actually entered an inpatient rehab facility where um, they specialized in the dual diagnosis of PTSD and addictions, mm -hmm. um, which also included disordered eating. Um, it's a pretty difficult thing to treat. So um, there I received the intense Christ-centered therapy that I really needed. Um, I was originally going to only spend 30 days, but once I got, I walked in the door after maybe one week, um, God was like, no, you need as much time as it takes. So I yeah. stayed there for three months, actually. And it was really, really hard to be away from my kids and my husband yeah. and my loved ones. But I knew it was necessary, and it's what God was telling me to do. Be obedient in this, and you will see the gifts and the rewards I give you through it. Amen. Yeah, yeah it's like when Christ went to the to the cross. <laughs> yeah, just to, we we can't imagine what he went through. Yeah, right for us, but it was necessary. Yes. it might have been painful and mm -hmm. hard to go through and be separated from his father, but it was necessary. Yeah, for for healing. Yeah, yeah, so. and, and he too also asked and went to the father <laughs> if, if this could pass through Come me, on now. you know. Yeah, and and don't we try and uh, barter with God, Lord? Oh yeah, if. if if you can make this happen because this is going to take a long time and, yeah. and I don't have that much time and don't we try and manipulate even God yes, in this do. situation, don't we? Yeah. I know a lot of listeners are going, yeah, that's, yeah. that's me. Yeah that's, um, yeah, that's exactly me. Yeah. So um, the word obedient, yes. the, you know, the word obedient um, it is so fulfilling. Yeah. It, 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 allows us to receive the amazing blessings that that God has for us. It could be a simple task and and Val it could be a very difficult task to to uh process being obedient to go through that rehab and do that kind of work when you when you can easily uh give up right. and say no, I don't need all of that. But you allowed uh, the process to take place, and, yeah. and and when you do that, you receive the healing, and that's through, that's through anything, yeah. mm -hmm. right? In life, anybody out there that's bulimic or, or or has anger issues and yeah. frustrations and and going through a really hard time, uh, that's the key. Just to ask for help and be obedient, just one hour, just one day yeah. at a time, and begin to move forward and let people love you. And that's, you know, that's a difficult place for so many people. They yeah. feel they're so unworthy mm -hmm. of even human love, let alone God's love. Yeah. No, I can't take God's love. He can't love me. If he really knew me, 
and all that I have and all my stuff, no one's going to love me or even like me. I can't talk about my secrets in my past, and uh, that's so not true. The world may judge you, but God will never judge you. Mm-hmm. It's it's so freeing. So, yeah. Yeah, shame's definitely an effective tool of, mm-hmm. of the evil one, mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I was there for three months, um, and then when I came home, I entered right into a CR 12-step study. Um, so it's important for me to note that um, I actually have done a couple of different step studies, but this one really took because... Um, I knew how life-threatening and deadly my addictions and things have become. Um, And I just all the while felt God comforting me and carrying me through the whole process. Amen. So, um, in this last 12-step study, I came in with a clear mind and desire to strictly follow God in obedience and had the appropriate respect for the how powerful the, um, my addiction had become. Um, I also had the benefit of receiving that inpatient therapy beforehand to identify and begin to resolve some of those core issues that um, instigated my previously reckless behavior. Um, I still continue to do therapy to this day, but ultimately the most important part of the recovery is just leaning into my relationship with Jesus Mm -hmm. and knowing that he is the hope he has the power, um, and I can access that through him yeah. and him alone. Yeah, I, and, and, and let's just take a moment because you talk about the 12 steps. Now, the 12 steps are in so many programs. It doesn't have to be a particular 12 step. Uh, that's right. Uh, we recommend a Christian 12 step based program. Uh, uh, that's what worked for us. Yeah. But getting into any 12 step program yeah. is, is a big key because you begin to clean house and, yeah. and um, you look inside because it's it's all about you. Uh, and, and it's a challenging, difficult process. I, yes. I don't want to sugarcoat it. No. Because um, uh, you, you really can't run from yourself. How right? do you, Wherever you, you describe go. it? Right? Yeah. How well, do you describe it? I, 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 I describe it as. Uh, uh, you know, you go, you'll go to a meeting, and that's the walk-in clinic, and you get an aspirin and a Band-Aid. <laughs> but when you go work through the 12 steps, you go into surgery, yes. and, and they go inside, and uh, so you <laughs> you examine inside. So, yes. um, and I say you puke up your stuff, mm-hmm. and yeah. you get you rid do. of that poison that that is. You know, it could be as small as secret, but you know, uh, you've carried it for. For so many years yeah. now, I, I remember my wife went to visit her mom a couple of years ago, and um, she told for the first time of of uh, the abuse as a little girl that she took. She took her testimony, and my wife's got 13 years of sobriety now and has worked yeah. through many programs and helps so many women. And she was now able to have that conversation with her mom about yeah. what took place, and. Um, her mom just sat and cried, and and she said, uh, "Well, I, I, I'm not. Uh, I hope you're not crying for me because I'm I'm free today." And she Amen. said, "No, I'm I'm crying for me because I too have a secret." And she was abused as a little girl at 13 years old and never told anyone. It, it was a 72 year wow. secret yeah. that she had carried her. Wow her whole life yeah, that goes back to the scripture we read earlier that's exactly right <laughs> is that amazing how that Amen. ties so if you're if you're carrying something and uh, I, I want you to know that there's hope through there's healing and revealing Amen. right that's you, right you speak it and it doesn't own you so that 72 year old secret that she carried uh, uh, was was now free she amen. was free from that burden of all of those years with not telling anyone amen and i tell you there's nothing better than than that that process yeah. working because god just wraps his arms around you he that's exactly what yeah. he wants to hear and, and yeah. that's a message for everybody who's listening whether if you're old older so to say it's not too late to let go mm-hmm. but if you're younger it's not too early either. Say something now. Speak it now. Get rid of it. Amen. Don't hold on to it. Amen. Uh, and don't forget, this is a show for you. You can um, call in and, and talk to Val uh, as she um, gives the, her testimony. Uh, there's something that has either inspired you or, mm-hmm. or something that you're going through today or struggling with. Uh, hopefully, we can uh, 
we can help you through that. We certainly can. We'll pray for you mm -hmm. and uh, get you some uh, direction because we have lots of resources, especially on our yes. on our website, which we forgot to to mention. There's so many there's so many connections um, that we can get you connected with. Um, so we'll we'll get that information for you. Up. Amen. Okay. Well, um, I think it's important to note too this whole process. Um, it's it's not an overnight process for me. It's it was Jesus painstakingly and lovingly knit me back together. Um, yeah. I had a lot of brokenness, and He's still doing it to this day. But the good news is there's so much joy and so much hope, and it just becomes so simple. Just you know, rely on Him, and and He'll He'll guide you. He will through prayer and through uh, godly counsel, um, meeting with other people who are going through those same struggles. Um, it's it's sharing that burden and then releasing it to God together. That's yeah, right. and and, and uh, you know I I always say that uh, I like that sharing it together because uh, mm -hmm. we're we're better together. Amen. We need each other. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right now, uh, so many people uh, think, well, I, I'm going to stay in that situation you know with the abuse and everything else because that's all i know and yeah. i love him or he loves me and everything else and and i, I want to tell you that that's not a that's not a godly love that's right. right and we don't none of us uh deserve any uh physical mental sexual abuse Amen. Mm -hmm. that's that's control Amen to that. so, right. yeah. well we have a we have a caller on line line three bill uh, you may know this person val <laughs> uh good morning, good morning. kim Welcome to Recovery Radio. With everyone this morning. Thank good you. morning. Yeah, we're good. Thank you. We're good. Good morning, my beautiful daughter. Good morning. <laughs> I just wanted to call and say I love you, and I'm so grateful to God and our Lord Jesus Christ for for your surrender, and He is using you in powerful ways. He used you. To for me to get down back down on my knees mm. and ask for forgiveness of my sin Amen. and and the encouragement that you're doing and how he's using you is just so powerful and i'm so grateful to you and i love you i love you too mama <laughs> amen well That's thank awesome. you miss kim we, we appreciate thank the you. phone call thank you so much everybody have a wonderful day you we do the will. Same. Thank amen you. Hey, nice getting a phone call from from mom yeah no. support system it is another support that. system yeah. yeah i i went uh 50 years till i finally mm. made a change so my uh, my mom was the only one that didn't give up on me yeah right i mean god didn't give up but uh, humanly yeah uh, my mom she mm. continued to pray for me thinking my <laughs> son is gonna die yeah yeah, yeah. it was uh so I, I'm so thankful that Amen. she gets to see me sober today and live uh, an amazing life, and I get to help her in many different ways as a, uh, uh, as a godly man. Uh, I'm so I'm so grateful for that. Amen. So in this process, um, it took equal willingness, obedience, and surrender. Um, to gain traction and see progress in my recovery. Um, so it was, you know, two steps forward, three steps back, and the process just went on, but the healing was there. Um, I just, you know, kept my eyes focused on him. And I think what gives God greater glory than if you're sitting in the presence of your enemies at the table he prepared for you um, and saying it's you're relying on him and you're gonna be okay because of him. That's right. Um, in your brokenness. So a few of my most treasured victories in the past uh, 18 months are an intact and thriving marriage. Um, our children are safe and actively seeking Jesus in their lives. Mm -hmm. um, finding value and working through struggles instead of avoiding them. Mm -hmm. uh, learning to invite conflict uh, with an intention of establishing peace as opposed to avoiding it to keep a false peace. My friendships are renewed and deepening and I've never been closer to God. Mm -hmm. I know, now I understand that pain indicates something needs attention and investigation. Mm. So I welcome it. Um, I know this is what God wants for me. I know also um, now I can trust and it has to come from a place of rest in God and seeing the evidence of his promises fulfilled all around me. 
Um, and then also I wanted to mention, I went to a worship conference recently, and one of the speakers pointed out how God marveled only twice in the Bible. Um, the first was in the book of Luke when a Roman centurion um, says to Jesus, Lord, don't trouble yourself, for I do not deserve to have you under my roof. That is why I do not even consider myself worthy to come to you, but say the word and my servant will be healed. When Jesus heard this, he marveled at the soldier's faith. And then the only other record can be found in the book of Mark, where Jesus marvels at the unbelief of um, in Nazareth, which is his hometown. In this recovery process, I discovered I desire above all else the kind of faith that causes God to marvel. And now I've experienced how my great surrender corresponds to a great faith. Amen. Mm. That's wonderful. And, and, <laughs> and through that, and now, you know, just because you do, you do surrender, it's a, it's a process now mm. and we have to, we have to do the work. And you, yeah. you talked about there, there are events and times in your life that are going to be painful. Amen. And, uh, but I promise you, when you get through that with God and others, See, that's the whole mm -hmm. thing, as you said, Val. You don't have to do this journey alone. Amen. You know, so many have already walked in front of you and paved the path. Yeah. And, they, and they're going to grab your hand and they're going to love on you, even though you think <laughs> no one's going to love you. Yeah. No one's going to care about your stuff. Yeah. And, and they are going to come alongside of you and uh, you are going to uh, feel an absolute amaze, amazement in in the transformation mm -hmm. that God will do in you if That's you right. allow him. Yeah. So, and it can be painful, mm -hmm. but you're not alone. Yeah. Today, you may be alone with all of your stuff and not feel that hope or that anybody cares. And that's the lie of the devil, Amen. that yeah. isolation. Yeah. So none of our junk is unique. It is not, it's, <laughs> I, I mean, thousands and thousands of years, yeah. right? And I was so embarrassed of, who I was for 34 years and and as I wrote it down on the paper you have nowhere to hide because it is about you yeah but when you get through that process and I had help at, at every angle and this this Italian guy who never cried uh, I cried almost every night working on uh, Mike in my inventory and yeah. taking a look at me <laughs> but I mean it was it was tears of it was tears of joy because I knew that I'm being cleansed Amen. and that I'm going to get through this. And the person that was helping me is right there. And he's he's been through this and he's there helping me. That's right. And uh, and of course, God. And I got to pray and, and learn to know who he is and what he was about. And that process is just amazing. Yeah. Just amazing. So, I, man, I, I want you to experience it. You Amen. Know, we, we, yeah. can, we can sit here and talk about it, but it doesn't do it justice. Yeah. It's for you to feel that, that healing and the transformation and the love of God in you is, mm. is, uh, is priceless. I want, you to, uh, I want you to know that. Amen. Yeah. So uh, again, this is your show. It's a call-in show. If you want to talk to Val or give us a praise report or anything that you want to talk about today, it's the numbers one eight hundred seven two one nine three one three, or our local number nine two eight eight five five nine one one zero. You know, Val, you were saying earlier about how God marveled, mm -hmm. Jesus marveled, and in Matthew eight ten is the verse of the day for the from the U Version Bible app, which I share Monday through Friday on my morning show, and it says when Jesus heard it, he marveled mm -hmm. and said to those who followed, Assuredly, I say to you, I have not found such great faith, mm -hmm. not even in Israel. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> so yeah, he yeah. marveled at that centurion. Yeah. He really did. And uh, not even in Israel. Not and even speaking his own of people. Israel, Samuel, going back to what you were saying about obedience, mm -hmm. Samuel told Saul when he, after he had sacrificed all these, you know, Saul did a no-no when he offered the sacrifice. Yes. And Samuel told him, yes. it says, obedience is greater than sacrifice. That's right. Amen. And sacrifice was the only way to roll ahead to sin. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if it's greater than a way to... to get the sin out of your life that's pretty important it is yeah. being Amen. obedient being obedient yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah then he tells us about the flip side disobedience is mm -hmm. but witchcraft yes right so you, Paul told you, us that's, that. yeah, yeah that's just no both both sides of it so mm -hmm. obedience yeah. is simply just doing what god says when god says to do it yeah amen yeah. that's it 
and becoming sensitive to that by you know uh, just getting in the word and, and praying with people and understanding what God wants for you you can you can hear him more clearly that's right so um, this God-centered process of surrender confession and willingness has saved my life and continues to keep me accountable the recovery community is a safe harbor where the Lord has offered a covering over my life as I continue to heal and currently deal with cleaning up the destruction of my past. I'm beginning to step into the person that God created me to be. I lied and manipulated yet found extravagant mercy and grace in the Lord. I developed destructive coping mechanisms due to my earlier denial and previous refusal to allow God to reign in my heart. Yet he released me from my shame as I sought refuge and refinement and refinement in his purposes. Um, and at this point, the best way to honor those I've hurt um, during that destructive time in my life is to stay healthy, continue healing, and invest yes. in others who may be struggling with addictions or Amen. you know, some of those other issues. Um, and I choose to abide in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Surrender to win. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? I love that. And do that. Me too. And, and do that. <laughs> and, 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 do, and do that in obedience. And, and it's listen it's not easy no you know I, I i know people are listening to this and they're sitting there crying because of their their guilt and their shame and and how do i get out of this and and lord are you really real as they talk about this morning and yeah. uh, I, I i want you to know that that uh he promises Amen. that he's real well you don't have to we don't have to promise. It's yeah. His promise that we bank on yeah. because He has all the power. Amen. And, and I tell you, He's just going to scoop you up and love you and direct you and give you purpose yeah. and hope and a whole brand new direction. And you, you don't have to live like this. You don't have to go through what you're going through. And uh, it's beyond your wildest dreams. I would have I never thought that my life could be so full, so exciting. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right? That we're not doormats. Amen. And, and, and uh, <laughs> say that again. So many people think that they are because of their past. Nobody will like them, love them. Nobody yeah. cares. And um, that's not true. You have to. Amen. The, the world is, is going to step all over you. Yeah. Yeah. But not the world of Christ. Amen. And he's right there with you. So really important. Man. And um, that was a big step for me, that accepting my identity in Christ over everything else. Um, it was hard for me to, to kind of grasp and receive that. But mm. once I did, oh, my goodness, <laughs> it, it blew my mind. It changed. It totally transformed my way of thinking um, and, you know, not conforming to this world, the renewing of my mind and, and forming new healthy habits because yeah. I know that's what God is asking of me. Mm -hmm. um, and then having accountability around me. So yeah, it's, 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 we need to go through it instead of over it. And that's it's right. going to be painful and challenging, but oh my goodness, you're going to be so blessed through that. Oh, it, it's an amazing process. Yeah, yeah. it really is. Yeah. Well, it's like going to a gym. I mean, the spiritual walk is, you know, you can't expect to have all the spiritual muscle mm -hmm. after w one experience. Yes. You know, so when you go to the gym, you can't walk <laughs> in the gym, work out one time and expect to be built like Arnold Schwarzenegger used to be. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a process. Even still is. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to, you have to, it's called reps. It's repetition. Yeah. So you go through stuff over and over and over. But as you go through it spiritually, so you're going to build our faith. Yeah. These muscles, your, your faith muscles, your mm -hmm. spiritual muscles, everything is just going to grow the more you go through so don't think once you accept crisis it's going to be roses because there's thorns uh, in rose beds exactly mm -hmm. and, and he and he built us to be relational and we're going to grow and grow together yeah. with the things that we go through so um i'm here to encourage um people out there there is a way forward and the first step is surrender um that's where i found it i found a sustainable piece sometimes slowing down from one day at a time as they say to one breath at a time mm. um i recognize the firm safe foundation jesus set beneath my life so i was able to gain um, emotional healing through intensive therapy and further leaned into my relationship with mm. jesus because i was stronger to be able to do that um, I fully connected to my identity in Christ, and only then was I well enough to be there for my loved ones in the way they deserved. Um, at this point, I feel and experience joy, like I talked about earlier, and um, a welcomed correction that comes directly from the source of life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I, a lot, of, a lot of times, uh, uh, 
the best thing that we can do for our family members or people that have been on this journey with us that that really about give up because our words don't mean anything the i'm sorry uh, uh, this yeah. won't happen again and over and over and over and we actually just begin to avoid them yeah. at all costs because we we feel like failures right and the devil just crunches us right down yeah. in that mindset but uh, the best thing that we can do within getting sober and working a program is just do that that's right and that's actually making amends and people see you and they see the change and the excitement and they come alongside with you to support you and love on Amen. you hey, you don't even have to use words <laughs> that's right anymore yeah. right it's a that's visual right. and people yeah. just say wow look at you what's going on in your life mm -hmm. yeah. it's just amazing mm -hmm. and and that's what god will do and he'll restore all of those relationships and that's right and back to being obedient when you're obedient you receive the blessings and it just carries on and on because we don't have the power to fix those relationships Amen. right or bring a child into the world that'll fix their, our relationship or we, we try and do this and that and nothing seems to work because it's on our power and yeah. our uh, uh, on our direction and uh, and God can can restore all of those, you know, especially going into a rehab. Mm -hmm. uh, so many people go away from that and say, "Oh no, I don't, I don't have time to do that," or, mm. you know, and um, they they're missing what's there for them to yeah. be able to help restore their family and give their family confidence and understanding Amen. that um, there's hope there, yeah. Yeah. and God can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Again, one eight hundred seven two one nine three one three. Our local number nine two eight eight five five nine one one zero. Hey Robert, tell us, tell the people about the electronic connections that that can uh, uh, ways that they can communicate with us. Yeah. Um, first, we got Facebook. Um, on Facebook is Recovery Radio. Uh, you can hit us up on Instagram at uh, Recovery Radio LHC. Um, just on the internet on on the web itself is re Recovery Radio LHC dot com. Or you can just email us at uh, recoveryradiolec at gmail dot com. Amen. Yeah, and you know you can uh, you can just go to that website if you're you're traveling. Yeah. Uh, you can go to that website and and click on listen live, and you can also uh, listen to some past past recorded shows. Amen. And uh, so we're doing that. We're on Twitter. We're we're. Uh, we're all over the place. Yeah. Well, you, you God can't, is, you can't isn't miss that? Us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God's yeah. putting us out there. He, he so. is. So uh, there's lots of people out there, like I said. So uh, good stuff going on. Really is. Really good stuff. You know, you mentioned earlier, Mike, about the person who came alongside you, and you cried a lot for the first time, and um, they helped support you through that. I think it's also really important to mention in my recovery, um, God sent these people to to me to help me walk through that because they've experienced it before and the really beautiful thing about jesus is that he's not only sending you those people but your brokenness and you struggling through it is actually helping reinforce mm -hmm. their recovery as well that's right man. um yeah. so i have a lot of people in my life that that did that and because of me struggling through and relying on God, they they saw evidence of what how powerful God yeah. is. Yes, that's the purpose of our testimony. Yeah. Yes, so there's no testimony without the test, and then there's there's no message without the mess. Mm -hmm. So we have to go through that. We go through this stuff. So just like you said, it's to help somebody else. Yeah. And the Bible says, "How can two walk unless they walk in agreement?" Yeah. So yes. you got somebody that hey, I'm looking at you because I know what you've been through. Yeah. Show me what happened. Yeah. Who did you go to? Yeah. So that gives you, that's that door opener. And, and it, it's, uh, I, I've watched so many different times where someone <laughs> will come alongside and they're helping that person Amen. by either bringing them to a meeting or a place and they don't have any, they, they don't have any issues. So I'm yeah. here just to, to help this, this person. So, uh, uh, and then their, and their life begins to change too. Amen. So, okay. We're going to go, uh, real quick to, uh, uh, Line four, Miss Debbie. Hello. Good morning, morning Miss Debbie. Good morning. Oh, Welcome to Recovery Radio. Uh, uh, how's it going out in Joshua Tree? It's going great. Uh, everybody's indoors right now. Okay. And yeah. It was really loud in there for a while. There were <laughs> a lot of children jumping up and having fun. 
And then but Mr. Craig began to share the message about his very best friend, and we got to hear a little bit about Jesus. You know, even for your listeners today, the, the most important thing that you need is is Jesus. Amen. He needs to be that foundation. You know, these children today are learning about Jesus and what they need for a foundation for life. And maybe you're out there and you're saying, man, I wasn't raised in church and I don't have that foundation. You can find it. Amen. There's, it's in the Word of God from Genesis to Revelation. Just to open it up and begin to read. Maybe start with uh, the chapter or the book of John and you'll find Jesus there. And he's mm-hmm. waiting to hear from you. Amen. So, you know, if you're struggling today, you've got a friend. He's, he's going to be your best friend through everything. That's right. So find him, and you've found everything, really. Amen. And so, so get a hold of Jesus like these kids, kids are today. Here, I'll take you inside the room. It's loud. In the All room. right. All right. Let's listen. <laughs> wow. Wow. Woo. I don't know about you, but my hair standing up on my <laughs> well god bless you hey. and keep up the good work there celebrate team amen, you, amen. Yeah. We, we thank you now they're they're out there live they're at joshua tree lighthouse right. christian center at 5475 sunburst street that's in joshua tree and they've uh, they're giving out backpacks uh to children and going back to school uh, and they also have a, a drawing, a raffle, for a brand-new bicycle for a boy or a girl. So you want to get down okay. there if you're in that area. Uh, go talk to Farron. Go talk to Miss Debbie. Uh, she's amazing uh, working with uh, the young people on her radio program, Treehouse One. And, again, we're so thankful for all the supporters and the, the air team members because it makes that makes this program and so many others um, uh, possible. possible. That's yeah. right. Yep. Yeah. So we're so, we're so thankful for that. Well, we love you, Miss right. Debbie. We, uh, we love you too. We'll be here in the morning as well. Ten thirty in the morning is the service here at Joshua Tree. Uh, Farron and I were invited to attend, and I get a chance to share uh, my testimony or part of it here. And I can't wait to be with you there and do the same. Uh, we we can't wait. Well. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Thanks, you, Miss Debbie. Miss Debbie. All right. We have a we have another caller on the line. Uh, line three. Line three. Yep. Uh, good morning. Welcome to Recovery Radio. Is this Brian? Oh, it sure is. Oh, Brian, good morning. Good morning. Hey, uh, Brian, I just want to introduce you real quick. Uh, Brian's from Landers, uh, Yucca Valley, and he's going to be our uh, next week's guest. All so right. we're really excited right, to, uh, wow. to have you, Brian. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting finally meet in person. I yeah. <laughs> think to you guys since I think probably about your second show. Yeah, yeah. man. Amen. Yes, we've uh, we've tried to uh, connect and get you here. Now, uh, how's your shoulder? Is the, was it a shoulder? Yeah, yeah. I had a rotator cuff surgery. It's, it's oh, those are fun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's interesting. I had no idea how useless the arm was. <laughs> 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 for a few weeks, you know? Yes. Uh, the recovery has really been something else. Amen. Yeah, I've had one. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a lot more involved than than one might think. Yes. Yeah. Well, we're we're excited that uh, you're going to be here with us uh, next week. Uh, so we're we're looking forward to your uh, your testimony and uh, to be able to share uh, uh, your message for uh, for our listeners out there. Yeah. So well, I appreciate that. I've really enjoyed the show. Um, yeah, this young lady you have today, she sure has a lot of peace in her. Yeah, uh, man our story so it's um it's i, I love uh, how diverse the different stories are yeah, yeah. yeah. Have, uh, uh, seems like just about every kind of recovering aspect you can imagine it's been amen great. Yeah. amen hey brian would you just mention about uh <laughs> your your rotator cuff surgery and you mentioned how uh how useless like it, it, it's kind of pointless to have that injury right yeah and you spoke about the recovery of it now look at our hurts, habits, and hangups. They're useless. But when we have that surgery, mm. yes. you know, then we and we go into the recovery. Yes. Then that thing's all better, you know. It, it, but we have to go through it. You had to get that surgery to get rid of uh, that pain, to That's get right. rid of the issues that you had. Yeah. But the recovery was so much better than the issues themselves, and yes. it was worth what you went through, huh? And the recovery is long and extensive, mm-hmm. and it's hard work. 
<laughs> but was it worth it? Going. Yes. <laughs> and was, it ain't over yet. Yeah. Yeah. But and it's just like all of us going through our dealing with our hurts, habits, and hangups. It's not over yet. No. But no, we yeah. keep working it. We keep working that recovery, brother. So we'll we'll keep you in prayer with that and and everything else that that you and everybody else has going through. Amen. Okay. Amen. Well, we'll see you next week, Brian. We're looking forward to it. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Bye, Brian. Have a great week. You too. Right. Wow. Uh, good stuff, and, and that's a great analogy, you know. Right? We've got a, uh, we've got a wound or a big cut. We can't just say it's not there, <laughs> yeah. right? And 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 don't we, as as recovering people, or when we were in our stuff, don't we try and pretend that it's not there, yeah. Yeah. or that no one else can see it, or try to man up and power through it? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 No, I'll be <laughs> fine. I'll be off. fine. Or yeah. woman up. Yeah. Or woman yeah, up, and my arm is hanging. But uh, no, listen, I'll be fine. <laughs> It's gonna, uh, it's Amen. gonna, gonna work out. So, uh, we uh, we've heard from uh, I got a, uh, a a card that was just handed to me. A couple of people in Georgia. Uh, we want to give them a shout out, and they uh, uh, really enjoying the Amen. show. So, thank you, Georgia. We Hi, Georgia. Uh, we appreciate your your support, and uh, and yes. uh, so we want to pray for. For uh, those two people in Georgia, thank you so much. Amen. Thank, thank you guys. for the, the support. Uh, well, as I said in the very very beginning, um, <laughs> you know, I, I've got Val, I've got Val smiling. Uh, I, you know, I still say Bill has something to do with that clock. I don't goes, touch it, man. I, I keep watching it. I can't goes, catch him. It goes so fast. I think it's something begin. he does with his feet down there. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, down here. <laughs> so and and Val is smiling and laughing because I I said this at the beginning of the show. That's right. Right. And every guest that we have on, you know, it's uh, they almost uh, begin to panic. We have an hour. Yeah. And and uh, That's the, you know, our hour, hour is done and gone. Yeah. It, it is. Uh, it's, Let's be real. Mike could talk uh, longer than an hour. Well, this is this is true. I I, I really can. So um, God has given me a couple of gifts. But this is why um, they gave him recovery. Radio so, that's, that's right. That's he right. still works with what we got. That's, that's right. Although they don't let me sing, I can talk, but they don't let me sing. Yes. So, uh, well, you know, I'm going to let you one day. We'll leave that to Robert. I'm yeah. going to let you one day. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's good. Really? Yes. So, um, His mic won't be on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, listen, fear is a liar, and I'm not afraid. So, uh, that's know, right. It says make a joyous noise, that, and God's it loving is. it. Because I'm, right. willing, I'm willing to sing. Come on, so, dude. you know, that's uh, where there's, right there's there. the difference right there. <laughs> so, well, we got a couple of people to thank. Uh, yeah. We're winding down real quick. You want to thank our sponsors? Yeah, right? we got a haunted Poke Bowl, uh, 3269 Maricopa Avenue here in Lake Havasu City. We have Ace Pest Control. Contact them at 928 Eight zero zero nine eight eight, or on the web at acepestcontrolaz.com and uh, we also have Sunshine RV at 2995 Maricopa Avenue here in Lake Havasu City. Contact them at 928-855-6648. Big shout out and big thank you to all our sponsors. Yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, well, we're thankful for our call-in people today and uh, yes. uh, we've, we've done our drawing and uh, Robin from Ehrenberg is our winner today. Amen. All right, Amen. Robin. All right, Robin. You'll Robin. have your choice of a t shirt, a recovery radio t shirt, or a hat provided by Hilltop Church. We we thank them so much for uh, for giving us the uh, supplies to be able to pass along to you. Amen. Uh, so it's uh, I tell you it's been a, a wonderful show this morning. Yes. Uh, we're really uh, we're really thankful again. Um, Next week, uh, Brian will be on, and I, I want you to uh, be able to listen to the show. You can mm -hmm. listen and pass on uh, Val's uh, show today yes. uh, because it's recorded, and you can go to right on our website, and you can uh, sit with a friend and say, you got to hear this today. Amen. And sometimes you don't even have to talk. You let somebody else talk, and Val can speak right right into their life that's right you know someone that has had many struggles like that Amen. so val we uh we thank you so much thank you for coming in here awesome uh, job being brave in this studio uh because uh, <laughs> it's uh hey listen lives get healed yeah just from from being a piece of glass right yeah. 
And that's what we have to do. We have to give mm -hmm. back because we've been so freely given. Right. I mean, you can hear the laughter. I want you to tell that. You tell tell the people out there how we have so much fun. That's right. And and it doesn't mean that, that we don't go through pain. Yeah. It doesn't mean that we don't go through hard times and difficult times and yeah. difficult situations. But we have Jesus Christ. Amen. That's right. And that's the foundation that, right. that we all lean on in here today. And it keeps us sober uh, one day at a time. Yeah. A amen. 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 Yeah. Well, give us a, a quick closing prayer. I know we're running over a little bit. All Robert, right. hit that. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you. We just want to thank you for today. Thank you for what went forward, Lord. Uh, help us to remember, Lord, that you called all of us to get out of the boat. Uh, give us the, the strength to, to walk in your obedience and to remember that we are perfectly loved by you. We love you, Lord, and we praise you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Well, I want to uh, thank the team. I want to thank Bill, our engineer, Pat, our uh, producer. Uh, John is actually in the studio this morning. We wouldn't let him talk. Um, <laughs> but um, he is he's uh, still stirred he's the pot. He's, uh, he's uh, our co-host. And uh, Robert, thank you uh, so much. No uh, problem. Uh, and we have uh, uh, so many others that are behind <laughs> the scenes. Terry, Kimmy, and uh, they do so much. You know, it's Amen. a team effort. And Amen. see, it, it, in the recovery, it's the same thing. That's right. There, there's no one person here. There's no I in team right that's right it's better together amen so i want to encourage you i want to uh let you uh, uh know that we're here for you uh we have many ways to connect and information and stuff and we're we're praying for you all week so amen. Yeah. we want you to have a blessed week we want you to keep coming back and remember that we're better together i'm your host mike uh we'll see you next week on recovery radio have a great week Goodbye for now from Recovery Radio, where we have hope for you.